Hey, hey, what's up, guys? So today's topic is a pretty heavy one, but it's one that I just feel so passionately about because I've lived through this, and it wasn't until even recently in my own fitness journey that I've been on since I was eight years old that I was able to truly release myself from its grip. Body shame is no joke. Uh, the questions I just asked in the, um, title of this Facebook live, like they're, they're heavy, they're serious and I get it. But the thing is, as a woman, there's no opting out of this conversation because on some level, every single one of us feels some body shame. Now for me, my challenge was twofold because not only was I experiencing body shame, but I was also ashamed to admit it. I know many women who openly admit that they're ashamed of parts of their body, but I wasn't willing to for years because what do I do for a living, right? I'm a fitness professional, so I teach other women how to have fit bodies and be confident, and how could I have body shame, right? So I just suppress these feelings deep, deep within me. And I just refused to be vulnerable and expose this part of myself. And it took a massive toll on me. And it really hit when I gave birth. And I'll tell you a little story. After I gave birth, I gained 45 pounds and it was tough and as for most of us, right? But my shame was so intense because now I had this belly that I I just I looked down and I just didn't recognize my body anymore and, and it was just an incredibly hard feeling for me. And I went into a tailspin literally of just hating it. I became so fixated on my not so flat belly and I beat myself after I gave birth literally through every single ab exercise I could possibly get my hands on and that's a lot as a physiologist and I was just, I just hated that part of myself. I hated myself for having this belly fat. I hid it, I sucked it in, I said terrible things to myself in the mirror about it. I was constantly disgusted. I felt completely uncomfortable. I hid that belly in shame at all costs. And I carried that shame around until it actually became me. I identified myself through it. I, it changed everything I did, the way I dressed, the way I acted, the way I worked, the way I loved. And I had this layer of shame attached to it that I couldn't be ashamed of it because I was a fitness professional. And let me just fast forward because I want to get to the point of this message and I hope you grab a notebook because I feel like in order to tackle body shame, like I moved myself through a few key steps and these are the ones I want to share with you. So if you're experiencing this, I hope this helps you today. But I just want to go back and finish up my personal story, which kind of came to a head when my daughter was two and Storm Sandy destroyed my business and my home. And I was also starting to notice, you know, my marriage was deteriorating pretty fast. Needless to say, I was putting myself under a tremendous amount of stress. And I was doing it. I was putting myself under the stress. And I was lugging around this double shame, right? I didn't feel good in my body. And then I was ashamed to admit it. And I was so petrified to be vulnerable, to reach out, to ask for help as the coach. But even just as the mom, right? Like I thought, you know, I was the one who had to be, you know, confident and fit. And I had to keep it all together for my daughter, especially as my marriage was starting to disintegrate. And it was so, it was just so all encompassing. And this shame was just, it was so intensified, but I was petrified to be vulnerable. And so something had to give. I knew that something had to give. And I, I made a decision. 
I made a decision that radically changed my life for the better, thank God. And it really started with just deciding. And the first thing I did, so if you wanna grab a pen and some paper, I'm gonna walk you through a few steps of what I did to really release the body shame. And I definitely come from a place now, and I'm sure as heck not perfect at it, but I am in such a better place now because of it. So the first thing I did, and I'll never forget this, I literally went out running as uncomfortable as I was in this body that I just felt so ashamed of. And I was on the boardwalk in Long Beach. It was a hot summer day. It was definitely crowded. And I was just experiencing such intense shame. And as I moved through my run, I realized I've I've got to do something about this. I've got to do something about this. And in that moment, I took my shirt off. And that was the beginning of my release. So I thought to myself, you know what? If I expose myself in this way, then I get to admit that I was ashamed of it before. And now I can start to deal with it. Brene Brown, who I love, love, love. She defines vulnerability as um, uncertainty, risk, and emotional exposure. And so I knew it had to start with that, of me getting really vulnerable. And what more better way to get vulnerable than to literally take my shirt off and physically expose the part of my body that I was most ashamed of, that I was hiding for so long. And you know what? I cried. And it was scary as hell. I felt so uncomfortable. And I just stayed in that moment. And I just breathed through it. And I... I just knew that I had to be there and that I had to just run the rest of my run with my shirt off. And when I was done, the second thing I did was journal on that experience. And again, I'll never forget it because it really was a life-changing point in time for me. And I journaled and what came up was fascinating. I journaled on You know, why I cared so much what other people thought of me. That's what this shame was tied to. Why did it matter? Why was I ashamed of this part of my body? Because, you know, I felt like people would judge me and ridicule me for it and not accept me. And then I would be a disappointment to the fitness community and to myself. And it was awful, but at the same time, incredibly uh, cathartic because I recognized that this was all about disappointment and failure. So much stuff came up. I can talk forever on that. But that was the second thing I did. I journaled on my feelings about that emotional exposure and how it made me feel and why it made me feel so uncomfortable. Then I took that list of everything I wrote, you know, all of the reasons, like everything that came out. And I literally just called bullshit on myself. Like, I listed reason after reason why the things that I were think that I was thinking were just really a product of my past of like my naive little girl brain that never grew up and that is exactly where I needed to leave those thoughts and beliefs in the past that's where they belong because the woman that I was was a mom and a powerful adult woman and not this like a fearful little girl that thinks that shame is something she has to carry around with her. So after I made that list, I turned a few of those statements into affirmations like I stand in my truth. I am no longer available to consider other people's judgments of me. And I still to this day repeat those because it's all about just rewiring our neural pathways until we create new beliefs, right? Our minds are really susceptible to that. So after I created some affirmations, which I still say to this day, I then did the most important thing that I think in all the steps to really release myself from the shame. And that was, I loved on my belly like no one else would love on a body part. I mean, like I seriously poured 
so much kindness and pink light and loving energy and just just high vibe to my belly every freaking chance I got every time I would start to feel that disgust or that shame welling up I would honor it I didn't want to suppress it I would honor it I would accept it because I knew where it was coming from that little girl inside me and then I would just call bullshit on it and go right back to love and just send love and pink light to my belly what came from that those steps and it was a process it took a few years and I totally surrendered what I thought I should look like to just being who I am and this created so much space for inner peace for me and here's where the radical shift happened here's the miracle of it all in this place from a physiological perspective this place of inner peace my body started humming and what i mean by that is that my hormones literally went into a reset that my endocrine function which had been totally out of whack from all of this imagined stress i was creating for myself between the shame and the shame and the stress of my life it was restored it was restored and everything got back to this beautiful humming homeostasis and it allowed me to restore my natural high vibe state and guess what a cool side effect of that was like yeah i lost a shit ton of weight and my body is as fit and as healthy as it's ever been i am i am just full of joy and it's not because i lost weight let me be crystal clear on this really important point i learned to love my body just the way she was perfect in its exact form a celebration giving birth honoring those otherwise dark parts of myself and i love myself now I, and i don't even separate there is no self it's just me that heavy weight all that shame is just gone and i feel radiant and vibrant and i had to go through that process and so i i hope that helps you body shame is definitely no joke it plagues us all we've got to get real with it because i believe that every single one of us as a woman is completely responsible for starting here first so we can really take responsibility for healing the world because we're just plagued with it but i'm going to get off my soapbox so hopefully this helped you tap into the body shame comment below let me know what you felt about this it's a topic that i'm not going to let go of easily i definitely want to dive into this more let me know what you think and um comment below any questions anything that comes up for you that's what i'm here for i love this stuff i live for it i coach clients on it and i love watching the radical transformation happen for the women that i work with the same that it happened for me to get to this place of incredible high vibe joy and just pure pure body love no shame all right love you peace out